Hi, Seagull class. We've been looking at squares of numbers and cubes of numbers and even square roots of numbers. Well, today I wanted to tell you about how every single number has a square in it. Now, you've been finding the square root of numbers like 16, maybe 25, 36, but what about a number like Let's say 22. Do you know what the square root of 22 is? Hmm. Well, why don't we take a look? I'll show you first on this pegboard the materials that you would use at school. Then I'll show you on graph paper so that you can do it at home. In my cup, I have 22 pegs. Normally I would start up here, but so that you can see it better, I'll start down here. Here is my top corner. One. That's a square, isn't it? One by one. Now to build onto this square so that I can use all of my pegs, I have to build in layers. So from this first one, I've built a layer below and to the left. Now I have a square of two. One, two, one, two. But I still have so many more pegs left. So let's keep building on these layers. Here I've built a third layer. One, two, three. One, two, three. We have the square of three. But I have more pegs. Here we have the square of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But I still have more pegs. Each time I'm building a layer further and further out. Oh, well I ran out of pegs but I wasn't able to complete this last layer. See, I still have one, two, three open peg holes left. So that means I need to take this last layer off. And in fact, I can line up these pieces that were left over that couldn't form an entire layer down here. Here I have a square. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A square of four. And here I have my remainder. The part that was remaining that could not make up another layer. One, two, three, four, five, six. So from the 22 pegs that I started out with, we were able to make a square of four with six remaining. I'll show you how to write that and then I'll show you how to do this on your graph paper. We can say that twenty-two 
22 contained the square of 4 with a remainder of 6. This little lowercase r stands for remainder. Now, I'll show you how to do this using just the graph paper and a color pencil. Let's say we wanted to find out if there was a square in the number Here's our square root for 18, and we can get started using our color pencil. Remember, we're going to be building on layers. Each of these squares will represent a peg hole. So I'll start here, and we have to count. We don't have the cups, so we have to really be careful and keep track of how many pegs we've drawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh-oh, I didn't have enough to fill in the rest of this layer. These two are going to have to come down here as my remainder. And since I can't just move them down, I'll just cross them out and draw them down here. This X lets me know that these do not go here because they could not complete the layer. So how will we write our answer? What is the square root of 18? Well, we can count what the square is here. One, two, three, four. And then write what our remainder is. Remainder two, one, two. I wonder what other numbers you will investigate. Maybe you can find out the square root of 38 or 64. You can do any number up to 99 using this method. I can't wait to see what numbers you discover.